Okay, it's weird, mm -hmm. wild. We're still talking about football when it's almost January, right? This wild. is the heart of basketball season, too. So uh, it's going to be a good game. Good game on Monday next week. Right? Yeah, looking forward to it. All right. Looking forward to some nice weather, at least starting us off this morning. Well, you've got the mild temperatures. Yeah, mm -hmm. if you want to do a quick jog this morning outside before it gets too cold mm -hmm. or rainy, now's the time <laughs> a little to bit do it. Both. Yeah, we've got showers pushing through. Look at the start to this morning. It's like uh, uh, right from a painting. Uh, this is the Neil Armstrong Academy showing off some of the cloud cover over the mountaintops. We've got windy conditions. You can see the camera kind of flopping around. Uh, winds have been blustery, about 10 to 15, even 20 miles per hour. Uh, temperatures, though, wow, it looks like we've topped out increasing southwest winds. We've jumped up to 52 degrees, putting a candle flame underneath. It looks like the weather station out there. South winds picking up ahead of again this moisture that's moving through. So we're uh, well above average. 45 in Ogden, 28 though Logan. They're still trapped in a bit of the inversion. 38 Provo, 40 in uh, St. George. So rain is moving in uh, to the northern part of the state. Uh, the Wasatch Front seeing the showers. The mountains will see snow. Snow levels expected to be about 7,000 maybe even 8,000 feet with this mild southerly flow in place ahead of the showers. There are winter weather advisories posted and we've got storms again lined up behind this one uh, into the weekend. So the winter weather advisories, you can see those across again the Uintas, northeastern corner of the state. We've got the central southern mountains and of course the Wasatch Range included in this. Southeast corner, San Juan County, the Abajo Mountains also included in the winter weather advisory. All areas expected to see heavy snowfall today into Wednesday evening. So we've got an initial surge of moisture moving through. Continued fairly widespread showers into the afternoon. Mountain snow, as I mentioned, with those higher snow levels. Valleys will see a good amount of precipitation. So this is a uh, healthy storm system. It's tapped into subtropical moisture. Should bring some good uh, rain totals to the valleys. Uh, of course, with rain on top of snow, could be a pretty heavy, wet, slushy snow uh, in the yards, but melting a lot of the snowpack and the drains. Make sure those have been cleared off because otherwise we'll see pooling and ponding water on a lot of the roadways if they're not able to drain properly if they're covered with ice. Long range future cash showing a bit of a break into Thursday, get clipped by another weak storm late Thursday, but then Friday into Saturday we see another pair of storm systems that are going to bring more uh, wet weather into the weekend. Unfortunately more rain for the valleys, but at least the mountains will continue to see snow. With it being a milder storm, kind of a tricky forecast, we should be cold enough tonight. Wednesday morning to see a little bit of snow, so could see up to two inches. Otherwise, just rain showers for the valleys. Trace to four inches along the benches. Mountain valleys two to six, 14 to 20 inches of snow for the northern mountain areas. The cottonwoods could see up to three feet of snow. Central mountains 12 to 18, along with southern mountains, Park City five to 10, maybe even 14 inches. Some models are suggesting so heavy snowfall in the Wasatch back. 40s today across much of northern Utah, east parts of the uh, state. Vernal 28 price, 38 degrees for your high today. 59 St. George. George rain this afternoon. Showers are possible into Wednesday, 52 for the high tomorrow. We drop to 47 Thursday, 49 on Friday. Slight chance of moisture, better chance Saturday, Sunday as that next storm moves in uh, into the weekend for your New Year's uh, Day. Wasatch Front rain today, rain snow showers, if not just snow early, but then back to a wintry mix with upper 30s for highs. Another uh, next chance of uh, moisture will be Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So into the new year. We're going to keep this pattern active. We've got low 40s for highs on Sunday, 34 on Monday. Quick check.